Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again, and I am in my tech armor. It looks so cool, doesn't it? Uh, we are over here in the goat breeding pen, and uh, I have just bred up another round of baby shine horns. Uh, unfortunately, no mutations yet, so I just have like a ton of these little guys. Uh, so, you know, I'm still trying. I'm still trying to get a good stock going. Uh, I have all my females over here. And then the babies are here, and then all my males are over here, uh, short of Sherbert. Sherbert was the first male, so I'm keeping him off to the side to where I can breed all the girls, or all the female uh, shine horns up with this one. Uh, but I wanted to do a round with this guy right here, Booster, because uh, he was the best male that I had, so... Uh, trying to, trying to get a few mutations on some goats, see if there's anything really cool. Uh, nothing amazing yet, but, uh, what I'm going to be working on today is a place for Drake storage. One of you guys in the comment section, and I'm so sorry that I don't remember who it was at this time, but you know who you are, uh, left a comment saying, why don't you make a spot where you can put Drake's on the wall to uh, to store them so i think we're gonna try and work on something like that today uh and i think we're gonna go over towards that wall over there so with that being said i'm going to need a good portion of things uh, i'm gonna throw that compass on the ground i don't need it um i was gonna do a platform but i don't think i'm going to this time i'm gonna put up all of this other stuff kind of throw it all down uh we'll keep that on us but I'm going to need a good number of these and then a good number of these. So let's go ahead and get started. I was going to bring you guys back and just kind of, you know, start the building. But I do want to chat with you guys a little bit. Uh, the, the, the day that this video goes out is going to be Friday the 12th. Friday the 12th is when this video is going to go live. And I will be at PAX South down in Texas. Um, so if you guys are going to be there, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, and we're going to try and do a meetup. I know Z and I have talked about it. And we're going to try and do uh, a couple of different meetups or something like that. Uh, Zuljan and I both will be going. Uh, so it should turn out to be pretty fun. And I am very much looking forward to it. Um, I don't want that. Um so yeah, the, uh, the video schedule for this week is going to be a little on the light side. Um, well, not really on the light side for videos, but just for ARC videos, because ARCs are fairly time-consuming to produce. Um, they basically, I mean, they take me one of the longest to make an ARC video over anything else, uh, just because, you know, there is quite a time investment in ARC. Uh, especially when you're doing any kind of building or if, you know, I'm doing a taming video where I need to go out and, you know, try and find a particular dino or whatnot. But, um, so yeah, on, uh, well, this, this video will be coming out on Friday. So we'll have the, uh, another Wildlands video for those of you that are enjoying that series. Uh, Wildlands is a lot of fun. I'm having a ton of fun with it and it is going really, really well, uh, recording with that group of guys. Um, and then tomorrow on Saturday, we'll have a Slay the Spire and another Astroneer. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the Astroneer series. I'm having a ton of fun with it and, and really, really enjoying it. Uh, I, I don't know why I stopped playing that game the first time, but I did. And uh, I'm back into it now. So if you are interested, check out that video and that series on the channel as well. Um, Sunday, I only have one video scheduled for right now. That might change. It's Slay the Spire, uh, depending on what happens. And then on Monday, you know, we'll be kind of starting to get back to a more normal schedule eventually. Now, hopefully today on Friday, uh, the ARC dev kit will have dropped for Aberration. And uh, we'll start to see some cool mods for Aberration. That is... One of the biggest goals um, or biggest things I'm looking forward to is a dev kit for Aberration that is going to be good. You know what I mean? It's going to be um, very, very useful. And I am I'm holding out on anything modded Aberration wise until we see a dev kit uh, from it, because I don't think there's enough 
in the modded world right now to really justify a modded series. I think it's way too early. So, you know, once some mods start working their way out, we'll, uh, I'll probably look into something and, you know, some of the other guys uh, will probably try it out as well. But yeah, that is what's going on for this weekend. Uh, like I said, new series, Astroneer, Wildlands, uh, Slay the Spire is still going. So if you guys are interested, please check them out. Uh, I know YouTube uh, has a thing where if you have only ever watched ARK on my channel, you probably don't get the notifications for new series that I start, like Wildlands or uh, Astroneer. So if you are interested in those games, and interested in checking them out, I highly, highly, highly suggest you uh, head on over to my videos tab on my channel and uh, and getting a, getting a start there and, and checking them out. Or at least I would like to see you guys do that. I know life is busy and all that, so you know if you don't have time, I understand. But uh, yeah, so. I am building this out, and I wanted to do four wide. I'm eventually going to change all these platform railings or pathways to four wide, uh, just because I think it's a lot easier for rock drakes to walk on them when they're four wide. Uh, otherwise, it can be extremely, extremely tough to get rock drakes on them. So we're going to stop that way and then kind of do this to come across and this wall right here for the time being until I could come up with something better is going to be our rock Drake wall. Now I definitely want to build something better, build something that's, you know, more aesthetically pleasing, but I think having a wall of rock Drake's currently is going to work out really well. And then, you know, we can always turn this into something else later on. Uh, once we kind of, you know, get more into the building. So I think this will be a good start. I need to go make up some more. So I think I'm going to have to go and make some more cementing paste because uh, I think I'm out of stone. All right, so I have expanded this walkway all the way through to the other side where the rock drake storage will be. Um, I'm working on the ramps going downward, but I don't have enough yet. Uh, to get all the way down just because I don't, I don't have enough room. Uh, one thing that I am also going to be working on is I would like to change. So these ramps are all four wide. I would like to change the inner two uh, to the glass. Uh, and that was also a suggestion by somebody in the comment section. Again, I apologize greatly for not knowing who it was. That comment was quite a while ago, actually. So... That one I don't entirely remember, but um, I am going to work on that. But for now, I need to, I guess, hit this and get it out of my way and, uh, and get some more metal going because I am all out of metal currently. All right, so I worked on a bunch of the ramps, and next up is we are going to come down here to the opening of this whole base situation that I've got going on and we are going to work on a little bit of like a gateway like a an entryway type deal that uh, that we're going to be putting up down here so let's go ahead I uh, want to grab a couple of platform or a couple of foundations which I'll have nicely that's in the way but that shouldn't be too big of a problem uh, let me go ahead oh will you not snap there hmm uh, well, I could use a ceiling there. That'll work. And then on this side, this side will snap a foundation. Uh, next up, we're going to go pretty simple. We're just going to add in four walls, uh, just like so. And I wouldn't mind removing, oh, no, not the metal wall, the metal railing. There we go. And we'll remove this metal railing. And I just turned on my helmet. Turn that off. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of this. Come on. There we go. Uh, and then we can place the next four walls right there. That should be good. And then, so we got to go up with this. And it, it's it's an interesting technique. This is also something I've seen on uh, Fizz's channel. Uh, but let's see. So I don't know if I need roofs or ceilings. I might need something else. 
than what I have. Uh, because I need to, like, angle upward. Yeah. Should I get metal roofs? Like, sloped roofs? Or should I... I'm definitely going to need some walls. Uh, I'm not going to need any of this. Yeah, I need to go get some metal walls. And some corner or uh, edge pieces as well. So we're going to need quite a bit. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll place that up there like so. And then we'll do that one. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just kind of place this up like that. And then I can actually just land on this now. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, that's way higher than I originally anticipated. But there's that. Okay, so looking good. Now we can actually just connect these. Now I could do one of two things. I could, well, yeah, let me actually just go ahead. Oh no, that's, that won't work uh, because of the height of it. But let me go ahead and just take that out. We can go ahead and connect that in like so. And I think that'll work out nicely. So we have, wait, how? How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, that, that works actually quite well for us. So let's go ahead and take those. We'll take these, this, and this. And we can go ahead and just get up here to the top. Um, I can place one of these there, one of these there. Oh, no, that's not actually how that's supposed to go. Let's go ahead and take those off. Well, yeah, actually it is how it's supposed to go. So we can kind of just connect these up like that and then this one like that just like so and then I can put a wall there and then I can put another wall right there we can just kind of copy the same thing on this side like so and luckily I have more than enough of these to go around so yeah, put that up there like so, connect those up, and do the same thing over here. Get out of there. Oop. Ah, I had no forward momentum on that jump. That was a shame. Okay, and then we can just put a ceiling right like that. And so that is a decent, albeit not great, little oh why did that break it shouldn't have broke what actually broke there because that should be underneath that in a different location that shouldn't have broken at all that's very strange what actually just happened there let me pop that one out and see yeah just like that and then I could just do this one in there so that one won't snap but if I do this yeah okay so that worked that was weird and that one just did the same thing okay well I guess I'm just gonna have to figure it out why these are not cooperating and it's not easy when you're flying. Okay, that one snapped in like it's supposed to. Oh, God. I hate... <laughs> Sometimes I hate the tech suit just for when it's jumping. Makes you, like, catapult yourself. Then we can do that. And so now I can kind of can do that on the inside. But I'm going to need a few more pieces uh, before I get too far into it. Like so. And we'll probably need another one on this side. Like that. So I'm going to need two more of each side and two more slope ceilings. All right, so we're going to pretty this up a little bit with some pillars. Just kind of have them go all the way up on this side. And then we'll do them on the outer sides as well. So it looks nice and pretty. Uh, I can actually, yeah, go down with that one. So that works. And then with this side being 
a ceiling. I'm not sure if I'll be able to hit the outer corner. Yes, I will. Okay, good. So we'll just carry that up. Now I need to go ahead and start putting in some pillars and stuff that go downward uh, just so I don't have this weirdness with it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and throw on a couple of torches on the outer sides of this. And then adds warm light to the area. Oh, you can't put... Oh, okay. Change settings, intensity, enable on and off. That works fine for me. Light the fire. Okay. Now, can you color these? Yes, you can. How cool is that? You can actually color the fires. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So we're going to go up a little bit higher with this one and then we're gonna do the same thing over here so we are on the second little spot just about there and then go ahead and put in our flames just like so and then we can turn off our light so we get a decent look at it it's you know not the brightest thing but it is a nice like entryway into my area. I think that looks pretty awesome if you ask me. I, I think that's coming along really well. Now I'm probably thinking about doing another section right in here, like right before this wall to where it kind of ties into the wall and looks like the bridge is being held up. Um, but yeah, I think this is actually coming along pretty well. Uh, we have the Rock Drake storage over that way, which, you know what, we should go ahead and test out. So let's grab Mirage. Uh, wait, no, you're not Mirage. You are unnamed, aren't you? You are unnamed. Let me go ahead and hit the platform. No, you are Mirage. Okay, good. So let me turn around. Not a whole lot of room on a four wide, but it's better than what it was, so just kind of continue around. This is my weight Drake, so we'll go ahead and level him with weight so we can walk around this outer edge just fine. We can come over here to this platform and we can go ahead and stack the Drake right there. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Now I might come out with another row of ceilings on this side um, the next test will be the next Drake. If it is hard to get past it, then we will... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Just get that forward momentum. Bah. And let's go ahead. Man, I did not want to... Uh, so many keybinds. So many keybinds. It gets a little aggravating. But let's go ahead and try this. Let's get over this Dodecurus. Oh, no. I, no, I don't do that. I don't want to be flying right now. Ugh. Sometimes drakes are annoying. Like, like that. Yeah. Like, it should have climbed over, but it refused to climb over. Because it hates me. Sometimes they climb over really well, and then sometimes they don't climb over the railings at all. And it gets to be incredibly frustrating. Let's turn on our light again to where the nameless don't come and get us. Okay, let's come over this way more. And then we'll go up on this side. Oh, okay, that took an annoyingly long time. But let's see if we got enough room to get past Mirage without falling off. And it looks like we do. And I don't want you sideways. I want you straight up and down. There you go. Just like that, but more on the wall. Very nice. There's our second rock drake. Now we are, we're going to have to extend this quite a ways. Uh, I want to go more the opposite direction, and then I'd love to go more this direction too, because I'd eventually like to have a lot of rock drakes, and we already have a, a good number of them, but I would like to have even more eventually. All right, so we got a lot accomplished today. We've extended all of the bridges to four wide. We've extended the ramp to four wide, or well, three wide currently. Uh, we built the entryway to the entire complex, and we have the Rock Drake wall, which I'm actually really excited about. 
that area over there was getting quite cramped and uh, I am very, very happy about this. Now, my next project that I think I want to try and work on is probably some sort of dino storage. Um, it, like large scale dino storage, something for like my baryonics, the glow tails and like the little guys can all go into that other hut over there. But as far as like large scale stuff, I'd like to be able to have all of my ravengers in a spot. Um, you know, the Dota Curious, the roll rats. I've got two crabs over there across the bridge. I've got a Reaper King over there across the bridge. I've got basilisks over there across the bridge. And I'd like them to all be in a, in a centralized location. The way if I need them, I can get them. I don't have to worry about them dying or, you know, whatever uh, all the time. So still got quite a bit of work to do on this base, but it is growing and expanding all the time. And I think that's great. Um, I just have to figure out where I want to start implementing all this stuff and where I, where I want it to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I did. It was a blast and nothing like crazy exciting, but all things that need to get done in a daily arc grind. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.